environmental activists storming the entrance to Chevron offices in Rio de Janeiro with a clear message for the American oil giant. An expression of growing anxiety over an oil spill at a Chevron exploratory well that started more than a week ago. The leaking well was owned by Chevron, but run by Transocean, the same company that operated the oil rig that exploded in the Gulf of Mexico last year and caused the biggest offshore oil spill in U.S. history. Chevron has refused our request for an on-camera interview, but they've released this underwater video of the well, which they say shows they're close to plugging the leak with only small droplets of oil still escaping. Federal and state authorities in Brazil have launched an investigation into the accident, citing irregularities in information from Chevron. And the federal police say the oil company might have been drilling deeper than legally permitted. Eu já tenho crime. I already have a crime that is very evident. It's an environmental crime, a crime of pollution. But what I don't have is the determination of who is responsible. In the last few years, some of the biggest untapped oil reserve discoveries have been found here off the coast of Brazil. It's led to a gold rush mentality of oil companies all over the world flooding into Brazil to try to get in on the action. The accident is also raising concerns about the possible consequences of the country's oil boom. Offshore exploration is still very unsafe. There aren't contingency mechanisms able to contain the impacts of oil spills that could be irreversible for biodiversity and for the economy of the region. Outside the Chevron offices in Rio, workers wash away the black ink left behind by the protesters. Cleaning up the real spill likely won't be so easy. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.